Hey guys, welcome to another motor vlog. This is season two. Yes, we actually made it to second year doing motor vlogs. Um, today we'll be heading up Stillwater, which is about an hour drive from where I live currently. Um, it was founded in 1837, I believe, between the Dakota and the Ojibwe nations with the U.S. government. Um, it was a big lumber and river trade area, so they made a deal on that. It's actually older than Minneapolis, I think, by several years. And Minneapolis is the biggest town in or a city in uh, Minnesota. Um, that's where all the skyscrapers are and so on and so forth, which actually makes Stillwater one of the oldest towns in Minnesota. So we're gonna check out quite a few things over there today. We're gonna be checking out, uh, man, the birds are loud today. Um, we're gonna be checking out, uh, there's a bridge, there's like a lift bridge, they're making a new bridge, check out some of the older buildings, look at some overlooks, and just kinda tell you about some memories I had around there and all that. Um, thank you guys for voting so much. I Appreciate it. it helps me decide where we're gonna go next um, so stay tuned at the end of the video there will be a poll for the new like the new location or some some ideas I have um, and whatever one you guys choose the most will be the one we go to so I hope you guys enjoy let's let's get to it <laughs> guys we're just making it to Stillwater Stillwater population 18,225 uh, so it was a little bit of a long ride it was about about a little less than an hour I think it said it was gonna be like 44 minutes so it was about that um, we did take some back roads cuz uh, back roads are a little bit more fun than taking the highway um, obviously they're a little slower though so uh, there is the little harbor that they got. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but yeah, they got a little harbor. Um, but we should be coming right up into it right about now. Yep, here it is. Good old Stillwater. Um, they actually have a little. Uh, what do you want to call it? A Amish town. They have an Amish town here. It's pretty crazy. Uh, we'll go drive through there. Um, yeah, it's 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 really <laughs> it's really something else. I tell you what, um, it's like all the houses are white; they all look the same. It's it's definitely something. 
All right, right up to the right over here. There used to be right here where this building is. That used to be a prison in there. Um, but they went ahead, tore it down, and uh, built some apartments. But it used to be a prison. Um, so this is downtown Stillwater. Uh, as I said at the beginning, this was built uh, around like 1840s, I think it was. Um, got it from the Indians, of course. And it's on St. Croix River. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to find uh, some older buildings, as you can see. I got a yoga. Should we go do some yoga for a little bit, guys? Um, where am I going here? Stillwater Mills. Um, let's go ahead and check out the bridge. They got a bridge. Maybe we'll wait for the bridge to uh, rise. Rise, my friends. Rise. Um, so, yeah, there's a suspension not a suspension bridge i don't know what kind of bridge you call it drawbridge boat bridge some sort of bridge to let um uh, i guess it could have gone over there to let boats through so we'll go over here hang out for a little bit walk around this is definitely a tourist town a lot of people come here to like just walk around and check everything out it's a beautiful town so that's understandable All right, let's find a parking spot. That's all full. Hmm. Trying to find a spot. Well, we'll break a law here. Just go in the do not enter area. Fuck it. There's gotta be a parking spot around here somewhere. Here we go. We do what we want on bikes. That was the bridge that we were checking out. Um, as you can tell, it's an older bridge, especially since uh, just how slow it goes up and everything like that. Uh, I had to actually wait there for a while to get that shot. Um, for a while there, I didn't even think it was going to happen. I was like, man, well, maybe this shot won't happen. Because I waited and waited and waited. Um, but yeah, when I was younger, I, because I lived in a town called Forest Lake, it's about half hour north of this place, and we used to come down here quite a bit, because, I don't know, it's just scenic, it's older, um, they have fireworks shows every year, um, for 4th of July, and the fireworks show is pretty spectacular, um, they also do a thing called Lumberjack Days, um, so they have, like, a, like, a live concert, and, um, they also have like lumberjack competitions where like they cut down, they basically cut down um, like trees and climb like logs and balance on logs and so on and so forth. As you can tell, it's a pretty hilly town um, just because it's on the river and you know, this is kind of, I guess you could say this is like mountainish area. I don't know, did I run a stop sign? No, I did not. I was like, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Um, so let's go ahead and go to like that. There's, there's an overlook. Um, let's go ahead up that overlook and uh, 
Get a nice view from there. Hey, it's my, my Jeep, but white. Nice, nice. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead up over to the Overlook. Um, basically nowadays, there's the, it's pretty much just all uh, shops down there and um, restaurants. It's basically all that area has become, which is understandable because, well, let's be honest here, it's a old town. So, whoa, it's a steep drop off there. Not where I was going. Not, well, not a drop off, but like a hella steep. Come on, Slumberland! Let's go! All right, I, I missed my turn, I think. Um, well, actually, we're just gonna go back to the main street and then it's easier to find it from the main street, the overlook. Um, so let's go ahead, head over that way. Ooh, uh, dresses. Maybe I'll get myself a nice shiny dress. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. It's just basically all little shops and, um, you know, tourist attraction kind of stuff. Just because it's an old town. Just gotta make it to that outlook now. I've eaten at majority of these restaurants. Majority of them. All right. Yeah, they have a uh, boat, like boat trips, as you can see right to the left, right there, that boat. Um, they have like quite a few of them, and as you can see, there's a school here. Um, so they'll like go to these. They'll go to them and they'll eat like food on there. It's like a lunch on the river kind of thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, I, I did it when I was younger and um, how do I get up to that, to the lookout? Cause this is bringing me to the freeway. Well, goddamn, I don't remember how to get there. Maybe it was the turn before, I might have to turn around. Welcome to Minnesota. I've been in Minnesota, you fucks. You gotta cross the river to get with to Wisconsin. The reason why they have that sign there is because uh, where that bridge was, it goes, uh, it go basically goes from uh, scenic overlook, here we go. On um, that bridge uh, is Wisconsin. So the other side of the river is Wisconsin. And uh, so you have some recognition on where we are. A lot of gravel. Oh, all right. Whee! Some nice houses over here. Some very modern looking houses as well. Scenic overlook, take a left. A random work truck, sheet metal. All right, so this is the overlook. They have another one too that's actually more in the city, um, but we lost that one. So you can see that's the new bridge being constructed because um, the old bridge that they have is hundreds of years old. Uh, it's at least 100 years old. Um, and they're scared it's gonna break any moment because if you remember about like three years ago, four years, uh, no, it's probably more than that, maybe like 10 years ago, uh, the 35W bridge in Minneapolis actually collapsed 
collapsed. And ever since then, they've been really big about making new bridges and keeping them up to date. I think it's actually a really cool looking bridge. I mean, if you look at the bottom of the bottom of the pillars, it has like a big gap in there, which is pretty cool looking. Um, it's been about like five, six years of worth of work, and they're still not done, but they're getting close. They're getting very close. It looks cool. Um, so they they keep plan on keeping the old the old bridge, but their way they're going to make the old bridge work is just going to be for uh, pedestrians and bicycles. No more cars. They don't want cars going on it anymore after that. So, I mean, it's still going to have to raise up and down. They're still going to have to have somebody work it to keep, you know, to keep the bolts going through. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, this is a gorgeous area. I love the east coast of uh, Minnesota, especially along the river. You just get lots of trees and you get lots of... Uh, just good landscape, really. It's beautiful to look at. Compared to when you go to my area, it's all flat. But I work on the I work on the west side, so I can't can't really justify living all the way out here. But if I could, I would. It's beautiful. I love it. It's a very nice area. Hmm. All right. I think I think that really covers majority of the things to see. I mean, we didn't go nowhere to eat, so um, probably got to still got to still do some more housework. So we're probably gonna do that um, when I get home. And then we got the. I am actually recording this Friday, the 9th of uh, what is it today? Uh, June, and we actually have the new server starting today. So got to get home for that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, as always, I had a good time. Um, Oh, you scared me. <laughs> it's kind of cool you get your GoPro set up. Oh, yeah, it works out pretty good. That's cool. Out for a nice ride on a day. Great day, huh? Yeah, it is nice out. That's pretty cool. How do you like your bike? Uh, I like it. What? It's nice. It's getting a little old, but it works. Oh, that's cool. What are you out here doing today? Just estimating. Oh, okay. Job to go look at. I got to meet a guy in a little while, but thought I'd come up and take a look at the bridge. Yeah, so they made a. When is it gonna open? I have no idea. It's been like five years now. Oh, I know. I think it's well over past due. I think they ran into a couple over runs. Okay. It'd be cool when they finally open it. Are you from this area? Uh, more. I'm from Blaine. If you know where Blaine is. Yeah, I'm at St. Cloud. So. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Oh, cool. well, you got a nice day to be out running around. Yeah, it's a nice day. I've been out all morning, just been going around, looking at stuff. How do you know about this little place up here? I don't know how many people know about this. Driving around. <laughs> kind of tucked out of the way up here. Yeah, it is, really. You got to know. Well, I mean, I can see it, but it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. No, Blaine's good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it was a nice day. I had the week off, so I was like, figured today was a good day. Sounds like the weekend's gonna get a little hot. Yeah. And then maybe rain by some Sunday. Yeah, it's gonna be a nasty weekend from what I heard. But, hmm. What's the cord go inside the helmet for? Oh, is that just hooked up to a. It's music. Oh, I, I have a. It's a Bluetooth speaker. Yeah? Yep. So Bluetooth going into. A, so you got speakers in the helmet that yep. you're running? Why does it go to the camera though? I don't get that. Because I can uh, also record audio if I want. Ah. So if there's something I see or I'm like, oh hey, look at you know something, take little notes. I do like a little like uh, a vlog of places I go. Along. Yeah. How the Bluetooth thing is kind of cool. I haven't seen that. Yeah, it's pretty nice. You can listen to radio and so on and ah, so forth. Shoot a picture of that too. I got. I run, I run Beamers. Okay. I have sport bikes, but that was a while ago. Yeah, I've actually been thinking about getting more of a sport touring myself. It, I do a lot of uh, long distance. Uh, just last year, I went over to like uh, to the east side of Michigan and yeah. back. And uh, yeah, this gets a little rough. Beamers are nice. I got an RT, uh -huh. 1150R, which has got all the luggage. And okay. That's nice. And then I also got that 1200 Cruiser of theirs. Okay. Which is, I want to just go out and take a nice little ride. But yeah, we started out with all the fast bikes and running around. Yeah, kind of like you said, now it's just nice to just get out and ride. And yeah, be comfortable. <laughs> they ride nice, full fairing, and they get in the bad weather. It's good. Yeah, but you gotta, you gotta do your time. Yeah, that's what. It... Oh, good. Nice meeting you. Yeah, nice meeting you as well. Yeah, beautiful day. Nice. You gotta enjoy.
enjoy this. Yeah. You've been running up through St. Croix and now you're up to the Taylor Falls area and stuff too. You do that a lot? Yeah, I was actually just came from there. That's kind of what I used to do too. Yeah. I lived in Brooklyn Center for a long time. Okay. So we used to take off from Brooklyn Center and we always came down this way and shot up all the way along. Okay, yeah. Back and forth and off the opposite direction. Yeah, it's cool. It's a good place to run. Run all the way down to Redwood. Yeah, nice scenery. Been in Wisconsin at all? Yeah, not today, but yeah, I've been in Wisconsin plenty of times. Place to run. Yeah. Same thing. That's all good. Yep, take care of you. Yeah, you too, man. All right, guys, we just got back from our lovely ride today. It was a beautiful day out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put a couple pictures up here. There's going to be a link to the poll of a couple options for the next motor vlog. The next motor vlog is either going to be where I crashed and uh, show you guys a video of my crash and relive the moment a little bit and have some fun on the roads back there. Or we go to a sculpture park. Um, there's a sculpture park not too far. Well, it's still about 45 minutes away from where I live, but there's a beautiful sculpture park. We'll go over there and uh, show you guys the sculpture park, look at the sculptures, and uh, just have a good old time with that. So make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and like I said, check that poll out and help me decide where we go next, guys. I couldn't do this without you, so please, and thank you, and love you, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.